So today we're looking at how to insert a combo chart in Microsoft Excel. The fastest way to do this is to simply select the data that you're going to use. And then under the insert tab, we're going to go to the combo chart shortcut right here. And if we click on the drop down, we can see we have a couple different options on the styles that we can use. This gives you a very quick visual idea of what's going to look like with your data set. And so in this case, we may pick the cluster column with line on secondary axis as our numbers are quite different in the size. And so this makes it a little more easy to read than one where they're on the same axis. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one for now. And then you can see we have some quick options up here just as far as theme and look that Microsoft Excel has up here. So you can pick one that you like for the layout. And so if you like this dark layout, for example, you can just pick there. And then another thing you can do is quickly add chart elements and adjust them here. And so you can do everything from legend. And you can have a quick visual of what each of those would look like. You can do things like data labels and determine if you want data labels and where you like them to show up. And you can adjust things like grid lines as well and those other options. Now, one thing that may come up is maybe you want the switched and you want the columns and the line to be inverted. Now, one way you could do that is simply flip this around because by default, it's going to pick the first column for your columns and the second column for your lines. But let me show you how to build this from scratch in case that's what you need. And so in this case, we're just going to pick our first column to start with and we'll go to insert and we'll start with our line chart here. And then what we'll do is we'll select data and then we'll add our second series. So the series name is going to be the column title. So average precipitation. And then here, let's go ahead and clear that out and then select our data in that range and click OK. And then what we'll do is go back here to change chart type. And then we'll go to combo. And then here we can see we can select those options. And so we want the temperature to be the line and precipitation to be the column. And then we can decide if we want this one to be our secondary axis, just like this. And now we have an inverted chart and we can still pick themes here and do the other adjustments as we did originally.